we are back. <sighs> All right. What did I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to go to the study. Let's see, maybe the study is upstairs. Let's go check that out. No. That's the guest room. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Okay, we got some oil, thank the Lord. Oh, uh, that's oil. Alright. Ooh! A crowbar! 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah one of the men traveling with us returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay. Oh, clothes. Alright. It's nice and bright, which I like. The lock is broken, but another way to open the closet door of the guest room. Uh, I think I already know a way. Alright. The key. Please, let it be here. Oh no, that's not good at all. Please don't kill me! I think I'm good. Okay. Uh, we got a Third note. July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. 
madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. Hmm. This account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. I wonder. Okay. Is there anything else in here? It was, it was just a guest room. This should be it. Yeah. Bed. Living room. Office. Or storage room. Whatever this is. A wardrobe. And, uh, alright. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> Punky man. That's gonna okay. Well, <laughs> you guys can tolerate that. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to read it. You guys can pause it if you want to read it. All right. Now we can go to whatever this room is. Study. Okay, this is where we needed to be. I think. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Is there nothing in here? Sanity's going down. Right. Uh, ooh, nope. You can pause it if you want to read it. Um, Hit, hidden in the guest room. Oh! Well, I'm already in the study, so too late. Alright. Hope this doesn't take a while, like in the storage. That would suck. That's not pleasant. At least we got oil. And we have a good amount of tinders. We have half oil. I think we'll do decently. That almost scared me a bit. Mm, anything in here? A note. Uh, you can pause it if you want to read it. Again, I'm not going to go reading notes unless it has audio. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh. Oh. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Oh. It's gross. 
That's why there are all these bloody dead carcasses. This is there's nothing really here. It's starting to get dark out. No. Oh. I didn't put my mic next to my face! No! Okay, I'm gonna have some crap audio for a few minutes. That sucks. Alright. Gotta get through here now. Nothing. Important key is hidden in the desk in the guest room. All right, so I guess I'll go back to the guest room from here. Okay. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. I see. Uh, looking for a key. The key hidden. Some tinder. Crowbars knocked out, so I can't use that for anything else. Oh, I pulled that out. Where would it be hidden? Oh, here we go. Fourth of July. 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. But there it isn't anything on your desk. Oh, good, good. All right. Doing pretty well. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to go in here. <gasps> I see! Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Found it. 
Yes! Got the machine room key. Let's do this. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Alright. Time to go to the machine room. Machine room. Note. July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. Sounds as like I was leaving, Egyptian I never crap. heard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Okay. What? What? One, two, there's two, two. There's no four. I understand this. Okay. One, two, three, three, four, five, one, two, Two, five, five, six. Alright, that didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> is there a sort and code I have to learn? Where else? Can I use that? No. Creepy dark stairway. What's my sanity? Slight headache and health is full. Alright. That's weird. Wait, so... Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay, that's, that's it. Let's go deeper down.
14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh my god, all right. Machinery needs more work. There are missing cogwheels to be fitted. Here we go. Here's one. Alright, that's one. I think I might grab the one in that room. back up to that room and see what's happening up there. Oh, here's one. Alright, then I gotta go get the last one. Then I can run that. There's nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Take some of this coal. Hell of a lot of it. Am I stupid? I mean, I feel like I should be able to take the shovel and dig up some of the coal. Nope, don't need to dig up the coal. Here's some coal. Right, put this in here. That burner needs more coal. All right, I'll get some more. Ah, uh, this is working. We're factory workers now. We're though not even in a factory. I swear to God, if we have to put all this coal in there. The burner is now full of coal. Okay, cool. Those are three pieces. Alright. Okay, what is this? Is there 
Anything else that I haven't noticed? Light some of these. Alright. Um, hmm. Uh. Okay, we've got the burner going. Burner's fine. Got the burner going. Got the wheels put. Not wheels, they're cogs or gears or whatever. Uh, is there anything in here that I feel like... Alright, I'm gonna go back to see what those other things were with the Roman numerals and shapes and crap. Actually, I'm gonna go refill my oil because I know there's only a bit left. And I know that that's gonna be just fine. Alright, yeah, no. That's fine. Here. Which one was this? This was flow. Alright, maybe if I. I see! I need one more. Alright, that's not good. That's never good. Where is this? That's the hall. This is the Roman numerals. Okay. Ooh, that's a tender. Ooh, I want it. Ooh, there's two! I want it! Um, right, here, I'll try this again. One, two, three, three, four, five, one, two, two, five. Five, six. And that did nothing. Did that? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go find that other rod because it's supposed to be up in the study. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could. Alright, let's go look in the study. 